Hello everyone, this is Miss Julia from the Collierville Birch Library here to give you a tour and tutorial of our Read Squared software. So this summer for our summer reading program we won't be having any paper forms or volunteers in the library to help log your reading. Instead it'll all be online through the web browser which I'll be showing you today or through an app if you were to go to your app store on your phone and just search Read Squared, you would find the app that you could use during the summer to record your hours for reading. Uh, but today I'm going to show you the browser. So you're going to open up any web browser that you prefer. And then you're going to go to colliervillelibrary.readsquared.com. And it should come up with our page. You can see it has all of our programs listed. We have the pre-K, which is ages zero through five, the kids, which is grades kindergarten through fifth grade. As a note, the grade is what you're going to be going into in the fall rather than the grade you just graduated from. So if you're in fifth grade this past year, you'd be going into sixth grade in the fall, which means you would actually go for our teen program, which is grades six and up. And of course we have our adults for ages 18 and up. Now to register for a new account, you can either click here where it says register online, or if you scroll down a little bit beneath the login, there is also a register now button here. So we're just gonna click that and it'll pop up with a new page. You can either register yourself. So if you're an older teen or child, or even an adult just logging hours for yourself, you'd click myself. Otherwise, parents, you do have the option to be able to sign up for yourself and your children at the same time. So I'm going to click on that for our example today. And to begin with, it's going to be asking for the adult information. So you're going to put in the age range that fits you. I am in fact older than 19. And I'm going to sign up for the adult Imagine Your Story program. Uh, if you don't want to participate in the adult summer reading program, you can just choose, I will choose a program later and you can still continue on. But I'm going to pretend I'm going to be joining in the program. Uh, from here, very straightforward. It's just like registering for a new email account or something similar. You'll just put in all your information, your name, your email address, username, password. So I'm going to do that really quick and jump forward. All right, when you have all the information that you want, you'll just hit continue and it's going to start asking you for your child information. So I'm pretend I have a child who is 10 years old, and since he is 10, he'll be around fourth grade, fifth grade, which means he's going to be part of the kids. We'll just hit continue, and again, like before, it's going to ask you for all the personal information for your child. So again, I will do that really quick and jump forward. I should mention, though, that uh, it will be asking for school name and school grade for the children. Uh, we do have options that if your child doesn't go to school, you can click there. I believe there's a homeschool option. It's all in alphabetical order. Or if none of your, or if your school is not listed anywhere, you'd go to the very bottom of child is not uh, goes to a listed school. Uh, hopefully, I have all the area schools. I tried to compare it to our list last year. But yeah, just put in your school information and continue. If you want to, you can have your child have a unique new username and password if you want them to record themselves. Otherwise, you don't have to include this and you can record for them. Then at the very bottom here is actually information that you can opt in for. So it would be book recommendations. So you can go through and choose the sort of characters you like, your reading level, kind of books you like, what interests you, and you can hit yes or no on any of these. And what will happen is that every so often you will receive an email or a message giving you ideas of what to read next. And just for time's sake, I'm going to say no. And at this point, you can either continue to add more children or you can say you're done adding children. I'm going to do one more just in this example. So we're going to have this child be three years old. Of course, since they're three, they're going to be in the pre-K. And again, like before, you'll just add in all the personal information uh, with the schools, again, if you want to give them a username and password so they can log themselves. I'm not sure the three-year-old will be able to do that, but you never know. So I'm just going to jump ahead when I'm finished. 
All right, so once you are done adding children, you'll just hit done adding children and it'll take you to your home page. Okay, you see the message that pops up? This will come up whenever you have won a prize or if you got a digital badge or if we have sort of information for participants. Uh, you can see here it says they've won two prizes and they're waiting to be picked up at the library. So I'm just going to close that out for now. And you can see that if you had not enrolled in a program, you can actually enroll here. So it's very easy. You just hit enroll and choose the program you want to enroll in. I am not in pre-K. There we go. And then we enroll. And I'll pop up with another one. Saying good job. You won a badge. All right. So I'm going to go back to the home page. And you can kind of get an idea of what everything looks like. So probably the most important thing you'll need to know is how to log your reading. So I'm going to click that. Now there's three different categories. So the minutes will be specific to the teens and the kids in grades one through five or K through five rather. So they're all going to be doing minutes and hours for their registration. Um, for the pre-K, I actually did a little different this year. I decided to do it by picture book or by book. Uh, the difference between these two, of course, is that picture books have the pictures in them. Uh, they'll be like the Eric Carle books or Mo Willems. Uh, the books themselves are going to be chapter books. That'll be your, your Harry Potter, Nora Roberts, things like that. So I'm going to pretend we're going to log some picture books. And you can see here that you can actually log in multiple people at once down here. So say I read to little Lucy, the very hungry caterpillar uh, for her bedtime story. I could count the book for both myself and little Lucy at the same time. I can just type in the very hungry caterpillar and it actually pops up to complete it for me, which is very nice. I can say I finished the book. And if you wanted to, you can add a book review too. Let's see. Now you can see up here, it'll actually tell you that you require 100 characters. 100 characters isn't too much, um, like a long sentence. Just describe how you felt about the book. Uh, I'm actually not gonna do a book review. So once you have all the information in, you can then submit and it'll tell you uh, that we saved the information. So I have learned or we have earned points, um, both Lucy and myself, and we can continue as we like. So just to show you what the minutes looks like, we're going to say I read for 60 minutes with Harry Potter. And let's see, we'll do the Chamber of Secrets. Thank you, Rowling is the author. And I have not finished the book. So of course, we're gonna add that to Mr. Bob Trumpy here and submit. And we have saved the activity. We've earned 60 points. So as you earn points, you're going to earn various things. You'll earn prizes. You'll earn these lovely digital badges down here. You can see which ones you've earned by if they're colored in or not. So we have gotten the registration badge, but we haven't gotten anything in like A to Z films here. Other things they might be interested in would be permissions. So these are sort of extra things that you can do. Actually, I need to switch accounts because I don't think I have any activated for the adults yet. We're still working on those. So we're going to switch accounts. There we go. So if you saw, I went over to the accounts and I just went to family accounts and it lists all the accounts that I have here. And I'm just going to switch over really quickly to Bob. So if we go over to missions, there you go. Now you can see the various missions that we have for the kids. So if you wanted to try and complete one, you just hit go to mission and it would list the, the instructions and all the missions in that, or all the activities in that mission rather. Um, of course, there's other things that you can explore like reading lists. 
which would be obvious of, it would show you lists of books that you can try and read. Um, the game board just shows you how far you've progressed. So once you hit a certain goal, these squares will fill in with a little character. Uh, you can find friends and like send them invitations that you can compare your progress throughout the program. You can see your logging history. So there's lots to explore, but I just wanted to make sure that everybody was aware of how to at least log their reading hours and minutes and books. And other than that, I believe that is it for this little tutorial. Of course, I mentioned before that there is an app as well. It'll look very similar to this. I think the only major difference would be depending on your screen size, it'll come up as picture icons rather than listed out words here for, for the tabs. So log reading, I think, appears as like a little book or something similar. But yeah, I hope you all enjoy this program, and by all means, if you have any questions, you can certainly call the library at 901-457-2600. We will do all that we can to assist you. Other than that, I hope you all enjoy this program, and have fun during our summer reading program. Bye!